As expected, the subject from yesterday about dreams caused controversy. Many are not open to this understanding that the Bible left quite clearly that God, yes, he spoke a lot through dreams in the past, but today he speaks through his Son, Jesus, and through his Word and his Spirit. In other words, God can speak through dreams, and he can speak through dreams and anything that he wants. God is God. But also, God has a way of operating. And in our days, in our times, God has been working mainly with his word and his spirit and with the name of his son, the Lord Jesus, who was embodied and gave us the faithful image of the Father. So some they said, but what about Jacob's dream? So clearly, the person who asked about Jacob's dream does not understand that Jacob did not have the Bible, he did not have the Holy Spirit, Jacob didn't know Jesus, Jacob lived in times that God chose dreams as a way to speak to people. So sometimes the person due to a lack of understanding of the difference of biblical times like Old Testament or New Testament, the person does not know how to differentiate between the dispensation of the Holy Spirit and the one of the Lord of Hosts anyway. So the person who hears something but they don't understand the full story, they understand that what is written about specific events peculiar to that time still happens today. And the word clearly says that God today speaks through his son, through his son, even though he spoke in various ways in the past, including dreams. But there's a text that speaks about dreams, even in those times that God spoke about dreams, there were already fake dreams. And also, I will answer the question about dreams that were fulfilled. You may say, I had a dream that later came to pass, or somebody told me something and it happened. How can you explain that to me? I'll explain that to you in a second, but first let me read Jeremiah 29 verses 8 and 9. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, do not let your prophets and your diviners who are in your midst deceive you, nor listen to your dreams which you cause to be dreamed, for they prophesy falsely to you in my name. I have not sent them, says the Lord. Here you see that already then, when God spoke sporadically, sporadically, time to time, it was not something... You know, I slept and God spoke to me. No, or specific and special things that marked history. But even back then, that God used dreams to speak with certain people sporadically, there were already those who considered themselves soothsayers, prophets, who interpreted dreams, and they would say, I dreamt this or that, so you must be careful with this and that, because I had this dream. So the God warns the people and say, do not be deceived with these soothsayers, nor listen to your dreams. So neither the dreams from the soothsayers, nor yours. Well, Naturally, God was warning his people about 
the danger of taking away their trust of the word, the word of God, and putting it in someone else's word, to put it on something which is not reliable. And when we start to trust things like, I had a dream like this and that, and I start to look for the interpretation, so I leave the word of God on the side, and I start to rely on something whose origin is dubious. And God is not a God of doubt, neither of confusion. Be certain that if God wants to say something to you that is not in the Bible, there will be no doubt. There will be no need of anybody telling you that was God. Be certain of that. But today, the Word of God, God's revelation, is written, is there, that nobody may change it. It's there, written. So when the person starts to look for extra-biblical things, such as a guru who will guide their lives, a coach that will tell them what to do, a fortune teller who will predict the future, will reveal the, the person they will be married to. I see a blonde woman, I see a brunette for you to get married, or a woman in the life of your husband, you have to travel. When somebody starts to point out someone else to be their guide, they are replacing God with that person. They are putting the golden calf in their lives. Just like that. And then the question comes. Someone may say, I had many dreams that came true. I don't understand why these dreams. Many told us that. Somebody told me that they dreamed about a topic and it happened exactly as they dreamt. What happens? Listen, this happens to dreams, also to revelations with card readers, palm readers, all those who are supposed mediums or seers, whatever they are called. What is the devil's strategy? The strategy is to gain people's trust. What does the devil want? The same as God. God wants people's trust. The devil too. God wants people's faith, the devil too. When people express their faith in God, they give exposure for God to act. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. So that God may manifest himself in our lives, we must manifest our faith in him, in his word, obedience to his word. When I obey God, I give God access to my life. The same mechanism happens with the devil. What does the devil want? The devil wants faith that I may believe in him. So his strategy is to awaken confidence for the person to believe in him and thus give him exposure to him to enter their lives. So the person go and consult with the card reader, medium, whoever they may be, tell their whole lives. They speak about their whole lives, this happened to you, things that nobody could know it. The person revealed personal things, so they are impressed. Wow, this person is very good because they told me my life. Nobody knew that. And they knew. But who also knew it? Who was speaking through the mouth of the medium? The spirit that is in them, the demon that is in them, who also followed your life or knows what happened to your life, a problem that happened in the past, spoke, communicated through the mouth of the medium and said exactly what the spirit knows. The devil is the oldest creature in this planet. He saw it all. He knows all things, so to speak. He doesn't know what is in us. But he is a spectator of the human beings. He studied the human beings 
and a witness of human beings for many years, and there are billions of demons in this world. Did you understand? So the spirit who worked in your life in the past communicates with the spirit of the medium and that person once speak in your life, you are impressed. And when you are impressed, you start to believe. That's it. You gave your faith to the spirit. And now that you've done that, so he has access to your life. He can work in your life with your authorization because you believed in him. Now he can guess, predict and say tomorrow this will happen. Next week that will happen. He can guess what will happen because you gave him the right to work in your life. So that evil, that tragedy that he predicted, he can orchestrate that to happen, that the cycle may repeat it again, that you may give more exposure to these spirits in your life. And the same is with dream. The devil can cause dreams to happen also called nightmares. Nightmares can happen for human and spiritual reasons. So the devil can cause dreams to happen, make you to speak in tongues, he can predict to a level. So all that is possible. And do you really want to surrender the trust of your life to these means to guide you? Is this what you want? You are free. Understand, I'm not here imposing upon you my way of thinking, my belief. I'm talking to you about the Word of God. I'm telling you what the Holy Text says. God Himself says, not listen to your dreams, which you cause to be dreamed, because they are your dreams. Because if it is from God, there will be no doubts about that. But I repeat myself. There were times that God spoke through dreams. Today, Hebrews 1.1. 1, 1. Today, in these times, he has been speaking to us through his Son and his Spirit and his Word. So, do you want something right, trustworthy and not to be deceived? Lean on the Word of God. Rely on the Lord Jesus. Let's consult the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, that will never guide you contrary to what the Word of God says. And like this, your life will be right. You won't be in the hands of anybody so-called prophets, prophetesses, gurus, predictors, fortune tellers, palm readers, card readers, mediums of this or that, none of that because you already have all that you need, the Word of God, the Spirit of God, and the name of the Lord Jesus. This is all that you need. Now you are free, okay? Do you want to keep putting a guru in God's place? Do you want to put dreams above the Bible? Go ahead. It is your life. You are free to do whatever you want. You're just not free to choose the consequences of what you do. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.